Alrighty, if I could once again have everybody's attention to the, to the Brackle party over here. Once again, if I could have your attention to the head table. So the first piece. speech and I was completely terrified. So I went to Google and tried to search ways to calm myself down, but I couldn't find any. So I'm going to try not to pass out or do anything stupid. So I told Kayla that I was going to tell everyone my first impression of Miles and she told me not to, but I don't listen to what she tells me, so I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, she, I was in like seventh grade, so however that, however old she was, she told me that she had a crush on Miles, and she told me he played basketball, and I was like, okay, I'll look for him at the game, and she told me his number, and I remember looking out onto the court and finding him, and thinking, and turning to my friend and going, why the heck does he run like that? <laughs> of Miles, I thought he ran like a weirdo, but I found out that if you have a little bit of giant in you, you kind of have to bend over or you'll look like a giraffe running, so that was the first thing I noticed about Miles, but he's not a weirdo like I thought he was, and the next time I thought Miles was weird was when he was really adamant about coming over to our house when it was, we had no power. It was at like 11 at night and it had just stormed and he was really adamant about coming to our house. And me and my mom were like, why does he want to come here? Kayla's not even here. She wasn't home. She was still at school. And I was thinking about it and I was like, oh crap, he's going to propose to her. And that's all I remember thinking, and I was so excited for him. But we didn't know for sure if that's what it was. But he got there, and they kicked me out, and I had to leave, and I didn't get to hear it. But they didn't know that I was listening through the door the whole time. <laughs> so I heard everything he said. And as soon as I heard him ask permission, I wanted to like burst through the door and start cheering with him. But I couldn't do that because they didn't know I was listening. So I just went in my room and cried for a while because I was so happy for him. And I am so lucky to have a sister like her. She is everything that I could ask for in an older sister and so much more. And I'm just thankful that Miles has been able to tolerate her. <laughs> because it's really hard to some days. And sometimes you just want to smack her, but you have to push through. I'm so happy for Kayla and Miles today because I know that they love each other very much and I just can't wait to be as happy as they are and because I know they're as happy as you can get. And I always get really sad, obviously, when I see when I think about Kayla leaving me because we share a room and she's my best friend and I don't want to not have her there but when I think about her leaving with Miles I feel so much better because I know that he loves her like you should be loved and he treats her with so much respect and it was just so nice to her and I thank Miles for that because it would be so much harder for me to know to know that she's not there and off with some jerk, so. <laughs> I'm very thankful for Miles. I am very happy.
happy also that Miles is finally part of our family. We've considered him part of our family for a long time now, and it's just nice to finally be able to call him a brother-in-law. And I can't wait to watch you guys grow old together and just be happy with your life. And lastly, bring on the nieces and nephews. <laughs> Thank everybody for coming. It means a lot to all of us, uh, family and friends, that that you guys care enough about these two to come and come and celebrate. Uh, I'd like, like to also thank whoever made the desserts because they were very good. And, uh, That's a good point. It is. So. Uh, Miles and Kayla are actually very lucky I even came tonight because, as some of you may know, uh, frog gig and season started yesterday. <laughs> so, if it were up to me, I'd be I'd be about knee deep in some mud right now. Uh, I I really can't remember when Miles and I became started becoming friends. I think it was pretty instantaneous though. Uh, it was it was around our freshman year in basketball, and I I, re I don't know if it was like our sense of humor or fear of Coach Bruns that brought us together, <laughs> but whatever it was, I'm very thankful for it, and, and we lived the high life for uh, for about a year and a half until she came along. <laughs> But, but from the moment, from ever since they started dating, I knew uh, I'd lost Miles and <laughs> that, that these two were gonna, were gonna go the distance. Uh, I, don't, I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know exactly what told me. It's probably uh, sometimes when me and Miles would do homework, Kayla would be there practice, practicing her signature and she'd be practicing Kayla Preeb. <laughs> I even caught her signing some actual homework assignments with it. But, sorry, I lost my track of thought. Uh, but they, they, are, they are meant to be together. This is, of, of all the people I know, these, people, these two right here are, are definitely the most in love. And, and I mean, their their uh, their story is like a like a movie, like you only see in a movie. I mean, they're high school sweethearts, and then prom king and queen, and then they uh, they they survived a long distance relationship through college, and now they're getting married or whatever. <laughs> so it it it's just it's I couldn't be more happy for them. I couldn't ask for a better friend in Miles and then I guess Caleb. <laughs> I give her a lot of crap but she is she is a very good person and I love them both to death. I do anything for them and they would do the same for me so I appreciate that. But oh yeah I, I forgot I forgot to mention how beautiful Caleb looked at the wedding. So you, you look beautiful Kayla at the wedding and, and uh, Miles still could have used a little work, though, I think. <laughs> so, um, uh, there's one last part of this eulogy I'd like to give. <laughs> uh, some of you people right now may be asking yourself, why is, is, there, a, is there a guy standing on stage with a guitar? And that, that, that is, a, his name is Brian Pitlinski or something like that. And uh, for, you, for you who don't know him, consider yourself very lucky. <laughs> but uh, I decided to, uh, to write Miles and Kayla a little song. <laughs> and uh, 
you will have to forgive me because I have the, the musical talent of a shoebox and I'm incredibly tone deaf. And also, uh, Ryan here, uh, at the song, it's uh, As Good As I Once Was by Toby Keith, but we rearranged the lyrics, obviously. And uh, Ryan actually, I told him this yesterday, I asked him if he knew it, and he said no. And he actually just learned it in a day. So that is, that, is, that is actually a testament to how great of a musician Ryan is and how much free time he has. I apologize ahead of time. <laughs> She's the perfect girl. I think I'm gonna do it, man. I think I'll give marriage a whirl. I said, man, you ain't as cool as you once was. You ain't got married on me now. I guess you really do love Kay. Although I don't see how. But Kayla needs some love tonight And I hope you can keep up You ain't as cool as you once was You're cool once, but you're married now He finally married Kay They've been dating since high school. Today he said yes, so he could take off that dress in their new bedroom. <laughs> he was once a boy. Tonight he'll become a man. Now the only time I'll get to see Miles is when he's playing with his band. I said, man, you ain't as cool as you once was You went and got married on me now I guess you really do love Kay Although I don't see how You're probably gonna fight tonight Just so you can make up You ain't as cool as you once was You were cool once But you're married now we used to drink all night long Back when you were a single man Now Kayla says that you can't do that, boy But I say the hell he can't <laughs> You ain't as cool as you once was That rings the proof Now if we throw a few back She'll give you a smack on your hairy tush. I'm really gonna miss you, bud. I wish you the best of luck. You ain't as cool as you once was, but you were cool once as you ever was. Thank you, guys.